So I'm going to try and place a, an IV catheter into my green vein. So let's start. I'm going to start off with a 22 gauge catheter. The great thing about using the food coloring is that you will get flashback in your catheter hub and it'll be this color. So it'll be nice and visual. Oh, that just popped off there. Just going to loosen this a little bit. So I can keep that nice and loose. You've got your teapot as well. So you can practice kind of placing your catheter and placing your teapot in and then removing the catheter. So beveled edge upright. I'm going to make sure that that is nice and pulled down to the base. And this is nice and loose. So when I place it, I can remove that. Give this a go. So I'm going to start about three quarters of the way down. So I'm going down on about a 45 degree angle. Down and in. Down. And this might take you a few goes. This is what it's for. It's for practicing. Now we have a bingo. So you can see here in the catheter hub. I'm going to move the camera a little bit. You can see right here that I have flashback. So let's now advance the catheter. So I'm going to, you can see it's still kind of flowing back, which is great. Um, I'm going to slide the catheter hub up. Hold it off here. This might not work just because it's got extra flow there. Hold off and then we could remove our um, IV hub and I would place it on there. And even if you wanted to give this a little bit more fluid, it's going to show you that that catheter is perfectly in place. How cool is that? And it's so satisfying. Like that is so fun. From here, you could remove this, place your teapot. Um, you could try this. You've got um, a couple of different sizes as well. So you've got a 20 gauge and a 24 gauge. So you can kind of practice with the different sizes, get used to handling them. Um, and then you would do the exact same over here with your red vein.